no one's all right with heights. No one's really all right with heights, but it's just, it is what it is. Do you remember when we went to the top of that uh, Sky Dubai? To do the yeah. pads with Seb? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, you need to do your leg here. Oh, That's Whose idea was it to do this? Take it in. You have to take it in. Hey, right, bro. It's mad. Riz, what the fuck, Riz? You like it? Riz, that. If you like, these things are one in a million. People are busy, but if you do get the time, you've got to experience something like this. This is an unbelievable view. Anthony, how are you feeling now? You've got a date, a venue and an opponent. Alexander East, 6 September 25th at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It was good, it was good. Um, supposed to be fighting August 14th. That fell through. So we're back again. I've got a good management team, good promotional company that are like getting me the dates and the fight. So if one falls through, I know I'll have to defend again at some stage. So I just kind of keep my mind active. It's been a good period as well. The world slowed down, so I've had a bit of free time and stuff like that. But I've also been training ticking over which has been important and um, I've been able to work on other things and now I've got a date set fully locked in. How highly do you rate him? Rate all my opponents. I rate all my opponents. Uh, he's good and that's all I can really say but it's all about the final bell and whose hands are raised at the end and that will prove who's the best. But he's good but I need to be better. In your mind you want to beat Alexander Usyk in style and then undisputed titles next year uh, you know, Look, we're, we're quite a way into the year already yeah. that obviously means the winner of Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder uh, if and when it happens in October yeah like, don't get me wrong the most important fight for me is my next one you know that's the most important fight but you have to have like visions about where you want to get to so I have that vision of I want to fight for the undisputed championship of the world and that's why I was annoying not fighting in August because I was set up to fight again in December but now it's been pushed back and stuff like that but when the time's right everything will happen in divine timing but I just got to stay consistent, stay ready, and get past each step of the way. Because once I defeat Usyk, who knows what will happen next? Will I fight Fury? Will I fight Wilder? Will I fight Dinner? Will I fight Ruiz? Will I fight Ortiz? Will I fight this person? Who knows what will happen? So for me, I just got to stay on track, stay on course, and make sure I just get ready for each fight along the way. I have that long-term plan. And I said, after I fought Hulen, it's just about the person with the belts. No, it's just about the belts, it's not about the person. Mm. Do you remember when I said that? People yeah, 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 like, I know Why didn't mean. I directly mention his name? Because I don't really mind about who it is I'm fighting. I just want to fight for the legacy. And um, yeah, so I just stay on trajectory, stay on course, keep my mind clear, and then once I get the opportunity, I'll be more than ready, 100%. Take care, guys. All the best, yeah? Take care, man. Half yourself. Can you wait down that way?
Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, 100%. It's, uh, it's going to be a bit wild there. It will be. Everything's going to be hopefully back to normal. Yeah, hopefully. Exactly. Hopefully. Yeah, it's going to be wild again. This, is, this guy unboxing is a serious contender. Yeah, this one, I you know about Uzi? You know about Uzi? Swear. What do you know about Uzi? I don't know. He's a, he's a, he's a tricky, he's a tricky, tricky guy. Yeah. You know, he's, he's not the biggest heavyweight. Yeah, but I thought. Go on. He moves well. Yeah, I feel like people think because he's a, a weight he's below. He's a south, south boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. south for fighter, he's a weight below. Oh, he's not made for the heavyweight division. Mm. Which I believe that if that was the case, you would never have like guys like Floyd Mayweather who are like, you know, six weight division champions and moved up it's six good times. Good. And it's, it can't, it's, 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 it's about it's skills. skills. It's about skills. It's about that. Skills, yeah. concentration, stuff like that. It can't just be about like, oh yeah, he's not big enough and that's enough. Yeah. Never about it. <laughs> <laughs> it, might be, it might be similar to that. It's, it's, going, going, to be similar to it's going to be easy for me. Too <laughs> short. <laughs> Remember the guys I fight, yeah? Imagine, yeah. I'm like this to them, yeah. some of them. They're tall, some of the guys. They have great division, they're all so giants. Like six, seven. Yeah, six, six, eight. Six, 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 the guy I was sparring now is a southpaw. Yeah. He's like six, eight. Rangy, tall, but get used to it so like the distance for food this feels, easy, feels easy to you now for it yeah distance control yeah once you've learned that distance then i just got to kind of step in there come out good coming up You still play though, like now and again. Serious? How? Why is it so much? Up? In the walk there, you're already thinking about. Oh, you know this is how I'm gonna be coming out here, yeah? With this guy waiting in the ring, I gotta be like. Come, nah, same old, it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah. God bless you, brother. Yeah. Good luck today as well. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, no man. problem. Guys, we're signing out. This is the greatest stadium that they've ever built. And we'll be back again rocking this place September 25th.